All right, hello and welcome to Aquas of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do another whip and chat here with Diamond Art Club, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right. Yeah, I have my charge cord plugged in. Okay, yeah, we're about around here. Uh, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club, there we go. Bah. It's having a moment. Okay, kind of in between colors here. Hopefully you're crafting and other hobbies are going well. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, it's like uh, another segment of this huge window. And the top two, part of the top two books of the center stack. And that's part of the book that the draggling's reading, the brown book there. All right, so. Yeah, there's just one of these symbols. Uh, 327, so I'll just fill that in really quick. It's like a purple that's just out of place. But here we are. <laughs> okay, that's one color in like an entire section. Yeah, that's 327. Okay, that was fun. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, that's te technically the next, I don't know. Hold the phone. Nope. Uh, this forward slash thirty-seven eighty-two. All right, we'll get that going. It's a staircase of this color. All right, thirty-seven eighty-two. Yep, it's the top of the cylindrical storage that I have. a couple you know, color blocks down here. But yeah, there's a couple spots. Yeah, sections filling in quite nicely actually. Yeah, I filled in that other green, the V symbol, while I was waiting for previous whip and chat to upload, so yeah, sections filling in nicely. I'm sitting here, now that I'm sitting here filling in a diamond pin. So, yep. Oh yeah, I'll go in this corner and fill this part up. Get drills set down here. I should probably plug my shaver in so I can shave tonight. It's my part-time work tomorrow for a few hours. <laughs> it's going to look presentable at my part-time there. I am technically working in a kitchen, so yeah, it's going to be somewhat clean shave. Yep. <laughs> somewhat presentable. So they don't have beard nets there, so yeah. 
yeah, it's just easier to be clean shaven after every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> every few days. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Plug here. Getting closer, there's just a few more colors left. This is a fairly quick section, but yeah, it's hard to tell after a few days not recording though. <laughs> to tell how long it really took to. fill this section in. That was like the wrong color, but it seems to fit the gradients, so I'm just gonna go with it. I knew there was a darker drill in here, and I just like picked it up and placed it, so... Eh, I'll be okay. It's only like one symbol in like thousands. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget it. It fits. It's just like a one of these darker colors that was in the tray here. Yeah, sorry. Right. Not the end of the world. Only I'll really know that I covered the wrong symbol with a different color. <laughs> yeah, it's really not noticeable. <laughs> yeah, mistakes happen. I can't even tell where it is. And yeah, it's probably like right there or something, but yeah, it's okay. Meh. <laughs> it gets rid of that darker color that had been mixed in with these lighter ones. Oh, ever that happened, but no, that wouldn't be the first or last time that, or wouldn't be the last time that kind of Thing happens with a drill or two <laughs> when you have similar colors. Yeah, it's still cloudy, a little windy outside. There's a slight breeze. Yeah, it's sunny though. So. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I almost spilled that. Alright, uh, 3782. Oh, yeah, that was just at the top here. Okay. Alright, 
644 due for tip of this book here. Okay, 644. Ah, easy there. Yeah, couple color swaps in this session for sure. Not the most exciting colors by any means, but. Okay, yep, that's that. Yep, it's just like three or four more colors. Still plenty of that, 644 left, so. We'll appear somewhere else, kind of that lighter cream color. Yeah, see where it ends up eventually. Uh, okay, well. Go back into green here, apparently. Okay, yeah, a little shrubbery here. Some blue over here. Okay. Uh, 905, the looks of it. I'm not sure if this is a lighter green, per se. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, it is a lighter green. Okay, then the two over here. Yeah, way later. Okay. I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah. Way lighter green. Yeah. 905 right here. Yeah. Okay. Way later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like these lighter greens. They're nice. Yeah, not much for that green. Okay, that figures that out. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, okay, come first here. Uh, now if I that or that. Yeah, do the. Egg timer first. Egg timer symbol. My depth perception is somewhat accurate. 3787. Good. Going right back to the cylindrical storage container. Ella. There we go. For a couple of these colors. There we go. Squeaky, squeaky. 
Plastic on plastic, delicious. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. Oops, there we go. Alright, yeah, just a couple staircases of this egg timer. They're kind of broken staircases, but. Yeah, somewhat consistent near the top there, but yeah. They're kind of staggered. in the session. Kind of nice right at the end of a section. You just get like a few colors, a few of each of the remaining colors. Generally. It closes off the section pretty efficiently. Let's go to like the center third, get that all mapped out, and then be part of the draggling's tail in the next uh, center section here, row eight, by the looks of it. Yeah. So I'll see how wide. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, good segment with the draggling's tail. If I, uh, section it off that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's all good. Getting near the top though. So it has been quite a canvas, so yeah, still love doing it, but it's just like yeah. You can kinda like view the end in the next little bit of this canvas. Kinda bittersweet and sad <laughs> yeah mixed emotions when it comes to okay 904 looks like the next green will dive into here <clears throat> yeah that's good yeah <laughs> 904 and then this strip of blue here yeah, I think it's just, just down to two more colors. This color and the blue, which will take like mere minute or so to fill in. There we go, cool. Oops, that helps if there's a drill on the end of that. Okay, it's a cover assemble. You know, wax is certainly finicky sometimes and the end of a uh, diamond pinning pens. Oh, it's common. There we go. I have to remold the wax and put it back in the tip just to get more life out of the wax. Yeah. <laughs> You have to start fighting to get a drill on to the wax. The wax looks half decent still. It's not extremely dirty or anything, but just after a while the tackiness of the wax just wears off completely and you can't pick any drills up at all. No, normal wear and tear of wax, but I'm still working on my first pad of wax from like my first canvas basically so 
yeah, I don't go through incredible amounts of wax. I try to salvage the wax, which is one way to go about uh, placing drills onto canvases here. There are other uh, ways to get yield the same result. Uh, sticky tack and Yeah, other variations. Yep. Yeah. Sticky dots. That's a pretty common. Yeah, uh, just like the pink wax, so. Yeah, just whatever gets uh, drills onto adhesive, uh, just use what works. And you generally just get pink wax with diamond painting kits the vast majority of the time for the kits that I have probably will have pink wax or similar waxes so I have a lot of diamond art clubs so yeah see the heart, pink hard wax heart wax a lot I haven't delved into those yet but oh, yeah I'm sure I have plenty uh, craftably has their circular wax Yeah, been a while since I've really looked at a diamond painting kit, so I've just had this one out. This is definitely not the original um, applicator pen. They're usually pink and plastic for a uh, diamond art club. Some I have a quite a few pink ones. Eh, I may have different colored ones, but I haven't. I really don't open up kits once I get them. I just kind of open them up when uh, I go to work on it. <laughs> so people are very different when it comes to checking out their diamond painting kits once they get them or when they go to work. Yeah, I uh, just don't want to just have a whole bunch of kits opened up because it does probably get dusty out here. My room certainly does get dusty, so. All right, three dots, and then that's this section at E23. Okay. Cool, not too bad. E23. Yeah, it's, it's a dark blue. Very much this A23 left. It must not occur too much in this canvas. It seems it was one of the smaller um, quantities of color. Okay, there. That is the right hand third of. The start of the eighth row. I'm going from right to left, doing a serpentine kind of movement. All right, I'm going to pause for a second just so I don't create a drawing movement to move the camera bracket. So just a sec. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's a quick pause for when while you're watching the video. I just kind of paused for a minute or so to get repositioned here. My camera, phone camera bracket that is. Okay, so here's part of the upper draggling's tail. And then it'll just basically be books, uh, the chain for the pocket watch. Yeah, it's on the right hand side of the section here. So, gonna have to the top's basically figured out, so just wherever the drills from the previous section stopped. And then, yeah, I just had to figure out the width. Do, do, do. Kinda there, maybe? 
Yeah, I'm just going to have to start <laughs> using the cover minder. Oops, sorry. Crinkling of the cover. There we go. Okay, just have to get the magnet on the back of the. Yeah, it's a yin yang dragon. Definitely not a diamond art club uh, cover minder. I got it off of Vats ears on. Yeah. <laughs> yin yang. I like dragons and then it's a yin yang symbol. So, yeah. That's that cover minder. I'm pretty sure I just briefly showed what cover minders I have. Okay, so here to here. Yeah, I'm constantly. Yeah, probably do up to there. Yeah, well, it'd be a very generous third. Okay, I'll do like the. I got three ten out, just to be able to mark. Yeah, it's quite a bit of three ten. Start with that for now. But yeah, I'll definitely post a section completion update now that it, that section got figured out. Right hand section. Okay, so how are we view wise here? Uh, okay, kind of went. Oh, excuse me. Very. What was it like the third? Part in here. There we go. Yeah. Should be a generous part. There we go. There. Nice work in here. <laughs> So got 310 like right up here in the corner there voila <laughs> yeah this is the tricky part of starting a new section just establishing the edges here okay uh, oh that helps there we go okay across 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 and try it all right there maybe <laughs> pull the cover plastic back it a bit more to give me some working room here okay yeah it can be hard to tell sometimes Gently touching the adhesive just to mark off the top. Yeah, this part isn't the most fun, but <laughs> yeah. It's, once I get like the edge established, it's so much better. There we go. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. That was a really quick half hour. Uh, down below in the description section. Yeah, there you go. Down below in the description, I put the two website links for Conqueror and Pacer. Conqueror, Conqueror being uh, the Amazon Rainforest and Pacer being Oregon Trail. Uh, it's just me going on the indoor exercise bike walking etc to accumulate uh, distances in order to finish the challenges and get actual physical medals from the name challenges sent to my home address so 
And I just keep doing that with other digital uh, challenges via the Conqueror and Pacer apps that you can download off of the or you'll be prompted to download yeah, the Conqueror and Pacer apps. The websites are just where you can purchase the challenges. I think you can purchase off the app, or I don't know if it directs you to the website. I forget, but yeah. I'm not affiliated or yeah partnered with Conqueror and Pacer, but it's just something I do like every day. So I just post the website links there. So. I'm not trying to sell you anything, so just there for curiosity's sake, just in case I do talk about being on the exercise bike and yeah, doing word search or playing Legend of Zelda well on the exercise bike, yeah, that kind of thing. So yeah, just virtual challenges, both fictional uh, universes and. Uh, real-life places like Paris or New York, etc. Yeah. But other than that, any updates regarding Echoes of Color here on YouTube will just be posted on YouTube. So I'll be doing a section completion update rather shortly. And, yep, it's, uh, either subscribe, yeah, hit the notification bell to be notified of any posts. I just post every once in a while. The finishing a section, start photo, ending photo, like start and finish of a canvas, like all kitted up and all that. Yeah, and then in between. So I only just started posting on YouTube a couple over a canvas or so ago. So since I got hacked via Facebook, I can't use Facebook anymore or Instagram or Messenger, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So yeah, just look for updates on YouTube here under the community tab on my channel page yeah so but all other than that take care all the best with your crafting endeavors and i'll see you again soon bye